Now, what happened with Mandy Rose? Well, there are facts, and then there are two sides of various parts of this story. So I'll tell you the facts, and I'll tell you the two sides of the story, okay? The fact is, she is no longer with WWE. She's gone. This did have something to do with a site that she set up where she charges fans to see videos of her. Now, it is not an OnlyFans, okay? Apparently, uh, you know, everybody thought that it was like an OnlyFans. It, apparently, she does not have an OnlyFans. And WWE, you know, I don't know what they restrict, don't restrict, take money from, or whatever. But she basically set up her own uh, subscription service, okay? WWE was aware of this service. So for a while, this was not an issue. This was not something they were unaware of, okay? And then she ended up dropping the title yesterday, and she is no longer with the company. So those are all of the facts, okay? Now, the two sides of the story involve... Well, what exactly happened, okay? Now, what I can tell you is that Roxanne Perez was always supposed to win the NXT title from Mandy Rhodes. That was always going to happen, okay? Now, this weekend, when Roxanne won the Iron Survivor Challenge, they announced that the title match was going to take place on January something or other, January 10th, New Year's Eve. So as of this weekend, there were no problems. You know, as of this weekend, it was going to be January 10th. They were going to do that match, and Roxanne was going to beat Mandy and win the title. That was the plan. Now, where the stories diverge is there is one side that said that uh, WWE decided either yesterday or Monday that they did not like the direction of her site. And so they decided that uh, she is dropping the title Tuesday and she is out of here, okay? And, uh, and that side is that she showed up on Tuesday and she was totally caught off guard. She did go to the ring knowing that it was her last match, and she did the job and then she was out of there. There is another side of the story that says that her and WWE came to a mutual agreement that she was going to be leaving, and that's what happened. So, you know, what exactly happened there, it's, you know, we'll probably never know because it's, you know, they said, she said, etc. But there there could be something here where, you know, they were aware, she was aware that we were going to have a mutual split or whatever. But then she was caught off guard when she showed up Tuesday and were like, you're dropping the title and this is it. So perhaps that's why there were two sides to this story here, but the... What I've been told is her her subscription site, which I guess is uh, Fan Time. It's through Fan Time, and it was you know bikini shots and and this is this and that, and then recently it became more than that, and we saw a lot more of Mandy Rose, and apparently it got to the degree where WWE was like, this ain't gonna fly. So, that is the story. She is gone. I was given the impression that it's not like she could never come back. And there is a possibility that down the road, she will come back. But for now, she is gone. That's the story. Anything you would like to add, Mike Sempervivi? When you open it up your page to do all that sort of stuff. Well, so you can earn uh, a little extra money on the side. Super followers, but no, I'm not going to be offering anything like that, if you must know. Not much I can really add to that story. Um, it is absolutely really... not a kayfabe firing. Just want to throw that in no, there. It, no, no, it's not. And maybe, again, I, I, who knows what the if there's layers to this and how many layers there are. It doesn't seem to be relatively nasty. You know, she seems to be caught off guard by those reports, but doesn't seem to be a nasty split. So maybe she's just got something that's working for her really well right now. 
doesn't whatever is on that site doesn't really want to back away from and WWE wants her to and maybe just be as simple as that. Well, you know, there is the possibility that, uh, you know, the rumor is I've seen no finances on either side, but the rumor was she was making way more money on her site than she was with uh, with her NXT WWE deal, which was, by the way, main roster money. Yeah, so she but, was she was doing well. But and you it, know what? She's look. As well, much hold on. As we let me talk just finish about her this. having a great job. Okay, it could have been that uh, she realized how much money she was making, and WWE was like, "Dude, this ain't gonna happen." And she was like, "Okay, well, I will leave." And she's gonna make a ton of money off this site. And then at some point, when she's not making as much money on the site, because traditionally with these sorts of sites, once you leave national television or whatever, or whatever you were doing for notoriety, it does slow down eventually. Then she would shut it down and return to WWE. So it could very well have been that. Yeah, and look, she doesn't need WWE to facilitate any model or fashion shoots for herself. She's been on the cover of every fitness magazine in the world. If they have no intention on bringing her back to the main roster, with everything she's had go on in her life, especially this year, maybe this is just a fresh start to kind of move on, do what she wants to do, and you can always go back from how it sounds. The WWE legendary joke book. Why do WWE superstars fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? Erkerlund? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Yep. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. <laughs> Glamazon. That's what I said. What? You said Gramazon. No, I said Glamazon. <laughs> oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. You get, the, the you get it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.